Hare Krishna, good morning. It's 3.30 a.m. and we are going to climb 5,000 steps to the Shripada mountain. When I heard that it's 5,000, I was like, oh my god. But we will try to do it, to watch the sunrise on the top. And this is the place for all pilgrims uh, from all religions, Christians, Buddhists, <laughs> and uh, Hindus also. Yes, and Muslim. Yeah, because and the, it's called Peak Adam. So the story about it, we will tell you on the top. On the top, we will find the footprint of uh, Buddha. The Buddhists think that this is the footprint of Buddha. Uh, for Muslims and Christians, this is the uh, footprint of Adam, who uh, was kicked out from the heaven, and uh, it was his first step on the earth. And for Hindus, this is, this is the step of Lord Vishnu or Lord uh, Shiva. Buddha is Buddha, but uh, Lord Shiva is everywhere. And even some Buddhists, they worship, uh, uh, they ask uh, Lord Shiva to give him, them some uh, blessings for material things. And for us, uh, Lord Shiva is a very elevated devotee of Lord Krishna. Om Namak Shivaya. <laughs> It's so funny that in Buddhist temple they have images of uh, Hindu gods. It's so weird. It's like in Christian church there would be Buddha statues. <laughs> An interesting thing that we can see Ganesha and next to him is Buddha. So many Buddhists in Sri Lanka, they worship uh, Buddha and uh, Hindu gods at the same time. So early morning and Buddha is sleeping. People, why are you are awake? It's been uh, one and a half hour that we are climbing and I'm so exhausted. Even though I've been doing sports for all my life and climbed so many mountains. And I can see that many people go with uh, babies and children and old ladies. And maybe for them it will take six hours to get up. And there are some places where people can take rest and even sleep. And I think maybe half left, I don't know. It's like subway in a rush hour, so many people. 5 a.m. Now I understand Buddhists who want liberation, who want to go to the void. Because life is like this, on this struggle. We are almost done. We are listening to Kirtan of Indra Prabhu. It gives energy because it's so tired. And people are standing for hours in the queue. But we are a bit stubborn. And it's decisive and we want to reach the peak faster. I, thought, I know it's a bit bold, but what can we do? We came from so far. Hare Krishna. We go for
We did it and now we are watching the sunrise. Very beautiful. The sun is huge. The line that we are going, we are going together one or one hour ago, is still here. <laughs> but we were very determined and we did it and now we are going down and it reminds me the subway in the rush hour and if you want extreme uh, experience just uh, visit Adam Peak on Saturday or Sunday when people are on weekend <laughs> There is a saying that uh, the person who visited Sri Lanka and never climbed to the Adam, Adam's Peak is a fool. And also the one who climbed twice is also the fool. I can't believe that we climbed up to that uh, hill, uh, oh my god, uh, up to that peak, Adam's Peak, I'm impressed. And it took two hours and a half up and a little bit more than one hour down, we are almost at home. I'm gonna take rest and uh, it's I spent uh, almost like around 1,000 calories yeah. nice exercises <laughs> In Harinam Chintamani, Bhaktivinoda Thakur explains, um, gives suggestion how to chant Japa attentively. And he says that it's nice to sit uh, in, in the room alone uh, and even cover eyes with some cloth, uh, cover head, face, and uh, get uh, focused on chanting the holy names. And here we can see that the disciples are uh, meditating and looking at how Buddha is trying to attentively chant Hare Krishna. Oh, 